similarities I have between me and Bates. Um, sometimes I am a quiet man, but only sometimes. Um, I, Mr. Bates is very much like both of my grandfathers. I looked at both of my grandfathers, my Irish grandfather, Scottish grandfather, and they were very dignified men, very stoic men, uh, very honourable men, and, uh, and very dapper men. They dressed very well. So I kind of took inspiration from both my grandfathers for, for Mr. Bates. So I'm similar in some ways. But he's a very old-fashioned man, you know, very... Sometimes I speak too much. Bates never speaks too much. Sometimes I'm too emotional. Bates is not emotional. He keeps it all in, you know? So uh, we're, the, we're the same, but different. <laughs> we think that you have the Spanish view. It's true. Yes, I do. Hey. <laughs> I just found this out. I was on the phone to my mother. When, um, when I was studying in Ireland, uh, I had two Spanish friends who were studying in, in Dublin. Uh, and they came back from Spain with Spanish food and drink and introduced me to a pack of the fear and, and the writing of Lorca. And I loved all this. And I went home and I said to my mother, I love this Spanish stuff. And she said, because you have Spanish blood, your great great grandmother was Spanish. She married an Irishman. And I said, really? So now we're trying to find out where she came from. And I'm trying to learn some Spanish so I can, I can go and see where she came from and, and speak Spanish. So I feel an affinity. I really feel an affinity here, you know. Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> I'm trying to learn, I'm going to try to learn. In, in Downton Abbey, my friend Joanna, who plays my wife, I said I was coming here, she said, I've got to learn Spanish, I've got to learn Spanish. And I said, I've got to learn Spanish. So we're going to, we're, we're, the race, we're going to have a race to see who can learn Spanish. Good Spanish. Good and me and a little bit of Basque as well. Okay. Uh, would you like to work in a Spanish production? Yes. Yes, very much so. That's why I've got to learn Spanish first. <laughs> but I could play an Irish Englishman in a Spanish production. Yes, I would. I love uh, Almodovar. I'm a big fan of. And, you know, uh, yes, I would. I'd like to work in Spanish production. Do you have one for me? Are you going to give me a job now? No, at the moment. Okay. 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 And after a long career, uh, what do you expect in the future? I don't know. I mean, when you're an actor, the first thing you want is employment. It's just get a job, get a job. Now, as I get older, I want choices. I want to be able to choose. Um, so for the future, I just want to keep choosing good work, work that moves me and hopefully moves other people. I mean, it's because of my choices I'm, I'm here now. It's, it's fantastic. And performing arts, the way it can reach out and connect with people, I just think it's a wonderful thing. So I don't have that um, big ambitions for money or Hollywood or this, that, the other. It's just good parts. It's all about writing and interesting parts that I can play. Yeah. Okay, and the last. Uh, do you like this, this part of Spain? This Yes, I do, very much. Well, the whole Basque country and the North Spain, yes, I do. I've been to San Sebastian. We won an award in the film festival in the 90s, and um, I love San Sebastian. It's my first time in Bilbao, my first time in Sauri, and I love it. I love it. I'm going to go to the coast tomorrow and um, get a good look around. I really want to come back here and hopefully I can do a festival here again. And, uh, I can come back with some friends and read here or something, you know? Okay. Yeah, but I love it here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The hospitality and generosity has just been fantastic.